Cyclone Kiara remains a very powerful Category 5 storm today, this evening, with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure estimate of 916 millibars as of 7 p.m. Gulf Standard Time this October 27th. Storm currently moving towards the northwest. No CDPS rating at this point as no landfall is expected in the next seven days. The storm's position is off the western coast of India, 17.7 north, 66.8 degrees east as of this update, and obviously Category 5 with an expanding wind field. It is currently 410 miles from Mumbai, moving away, 409 from Rajkot, 496 from Karachi in Pakistan, 612 from Dukiam in Oman, and 681 from the capital, uh, Muscat. Uh, the storm is continuing to move towards the Arabian Peninsula at this time. No warnings are in effect though at this point because the storm is over the Arabian Sea. Uh, no harm along any of the coastlines at all at the moment. Obviously a very powerful storm lingering, lingering at this point out over the waters. So expected rainfall in these next seven days. This is the GFS run which is still um, hinting at the storm moving towards the north but I must say other forecasts, including the JTWC forecast, take it further towards the southwest. There is a massive split between what the models are saying at this point. Whichever way it goes, whether it does move, if it does move towards the north, it will likely stall and then turn back southeast. And if it does move towards the southeast, obviously it may go on to affect Oman and Yemen with massive amounts of rainfall. As you can see, those pink areas, three inches or higher, 75 millimeters. Temperatures out at sea there around 28, 29 degrees Celsius on the sea surface so that is pretty decent for this storm to hold on to a lot of that intensity although it is expected now to gradually weaken over the next few days whether we'll see a secondary peak of this storm after the first one overnight remains to be seen uh, but this again is the GFS model it is taking it generally towards the north where it will stall out and do a bit of a loop and then back towards the southwest but a lot of the other models calling for a much more straightforward approach moving towards the say the west northwest perhaps at first and then starting to dip towards the southwest as it gets closer to Oman. Looking at the chances of tropical storm force winds is probably the most important information although it is still extremely uncertain so that's why the percentage chances are very low. 15% at Burj in India, 10% at Keti Bandar over the border in, uh, in Pakistan, 10% in Salala in Oman as well. And these are what the models are saying, which still, for my opinion, haven't caught up with the storm's intensity, which we are giving a Category 5 status, clearly visible on the satellite and has been for the best part of 12 hours now, maybe a little bit more than that, that it's been a Category 5. Wind shear remains low, it will start to rise a little bit, so that lends credence to the uh, idea that the storm will start to weaken. Dry air could be a significant issue for the storm soon as well, sea surface temperatures being the only sure thing. So here is the storm's motion in the last few hours. Um, you can see towards the end of that loop there, a northwestward motion, a poss possibly a jog. At the moment though, northwest at 8 miles per hour is the current movement of Cyclone Kiar. You can see how well it looked in the last 12 hours at least there. This is a 24 hour loop, just how fantastic the storm's appearance was and certainly a contender for the strongest storm seen in the Arabian Sea. At the moment on our records, it may well have achieved that. We'll go and verify those numbers after the storm, after the fact. Uh, that's all for now, we'll have more updates. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.